Hi everyone, welcome back on my channel or welcome to my channel. Um, today I want to do a three-tier cake stand and I already uploaded this video in German. So I thought, as I promised to do more uh, tutorials in English, I just do a voiceover, so you're not going to miss anything compared to the German video. Um, I will do a voiceover and show you what I do, what I did with this cake stand. I saw a video from Pouring Your Heart Out from Julie and she did a cake stand with a flower. And I, as after I did the green one, I thought maybe it could be nice to do also a flower with white, a shimmery white and a shimmery pink and some gold with golden edges. So, well, let's get into it. Um, I put the smaller molds on a wooden board so I can store them, I can put them away. But let your resin cure for a while. So if you are just um, if you're moving your mold right after pouring, you will damage your design. So let them sit for a couple of hours and then you can just put them away and your table is free to do other projects. Um, compared to the German tutorial, just for you to let you know, um, when I pour the petals, I will not talk because I'm highly concentrated, so you're really not going to miss anything. I will show you the colors. This is a light rose pearl. It's from Dippon. I always use the Dippon resin and the Dippon colors. Um, it's a pigment powder. Oh, Dippon is a German company. You can check my description box. They do ship worldwide, so if you're interested. And I do have a discount code, so check my description box. Um, the gold was a gold foil flake, which are flakes for the center. This one is a new color from Dippon. It's a geode gold, so it's not that bright like reddish gold. It's more like a pale gold, but I really like it and I think it could be, it could be nice in my flower design. Uh, then I have some, um, it's called Snow Star Flakes. This is a really fine glitter, as you can see. I hope you can see. Um, I will pour this on the edge. I will show you later. And I have my white pigment paste. Sorry, the glitter was the um, white diamond flakes. So the Snow Star White is this one. This is a white pigment powder, like a mica powder, um, to get the petals more shiny. I will mix up about 700 grams of resin, which is a lot. And I never did like three molds at one time. So hopefully, fingers crossed, it will work. Um, I used the honey resin from Dippon, which is a medium viscosity resin. And um, yeah, fingers crossed that it works. I also have a coaster mold because I'm not sure if 700 grams of resin is too much. It's just, a, it's just a guess. So I have a coaster mold. If I have resin left, I can do just a little coaster or a bowl or I don't know. These are some glitter flakes from Let's Resin for my center. I want to do the center in this pink and gold glitter. Um, this one is also another nice glitter from Dippon. It's more like a purple glitter and I'm just talking about which glitter I should use because I'm always kind of insecure because there are so many colors, so many kind of glitters. I just love them. This is a rose gold glitter flake um, from Dippon. So, well, I just showed the glitter and I will decide as I go. Okay, let's get started. I mixed up my resin off camera because it just takes a lot of time and the video is so long. So I just don't want to bother you with mixing up my colors, mixing up my resin. So I mixed up my resin. I mixed up my colors. I took about, I don't know, 30 grams uh, for each color, 30 grams of resin and put some white in it, some white pigment paste and the powder and the pink powder and the gold. The gold is just about 10 grams, 15 grams of resin because I don't need that much. I have my piping bags ready. So I just fill up my piping bags with the colors. Um, yeah, and then when we can get started. Um, and the piping bags, I bought them from Amazon. They're pretty cheap. I think they were uh, they came in three sizes and I think it was 300 piping bags and the bigger ones, which are really big, I just cut off the ends so I can use them. I make them smaller for smaller amounts of resin. Um, yeah, so 
if you are interested, just look on Amazon for piping bags or eBay. Um, if you're making petals, if you're making flower designs, especially in big molds like this, I figured out that piping bags are much easier and much faster to do your petals than if you use a wooden stick because you always have to think of your working time. If you make all those petals with a wooden stick, it takes quite long and um, I have to fill up three with the coaster mold, four molds, so I really need to hurry up a bit. That's why I use piping bags. I always close my uh, piping bags and then I cut off the end because I'm like a little chaos queen and if my piping bag, the end is so long, uh, I tend to, well, kind of put it in or just smash it in my resin. That's why I cut that off. It's much easier to handle for me. Okay, we're ready to go. I just put everything out of the way so you can see my three molds in the picture and uh, I have my big bowl of resin. If you use a medium viscosity resin, just make sure that you mix it really, really slowly because if you mix it too fast, you get a lot of bubbles in it uh, and we don't want that. So mix it really slow, pour it slow, but sometimes the, the small bubbles, they really stick um, at the bottom of your mold <laughs> like glue and you really have to remove them. So I, uh, I pour my resin in, I just uh, check if there are any bubbles stuck on the bottom, I release them with a, with a wooden stick. Um, yeah, and then we can start with the center. And I'm sorry, it's really hard to do a voiceover. I don't, I don't like voiceovers. For me, it's, it's much easier when I do a tutorial to do it in English and German because, because then I can talk while I go and do a voiceover. It's like watching your own video, talking. I don't know. I, I don't really like it. So bear with me. I'm sorry that it's sometimes kind of stuck or sounds like stupid. <laughs> I, I hate voiceovers. But well, anyway, it was the only way to, uh, to get this video in English out.
So I fill my molds and then I just wait a few seconds or a minute uh, just to see when the resin levels, if the molds are equally filled, because of course I don't want them to be like one is thinner and one is thicker. So I just wait a while, watch which mold can hold a little bit more resin. Uh, I release the bubbles at the edges and um, yeah, then I will start with my center. I already mentioned I will start with my center. I'm sorry, I hate voiceovers. Okay, I filled up my molds and in the German video, so I, I promised you don't miss anything. I'm just talking about my heat gun. Uh, there you can see the blue one. Um, especially the cheap molds from Amazon. The silicon is very cheap and um, this silicon can't handle heat. So if you torch too much, just your resin will stuck to your mold and you damage your mold, you damage your piece. So if you have bubbles in it, in your resin, just use a heat gun. It warms up your resin, it gets a bit thinner, the air bubbles can rise up. And um, if you have any bubbles left, smaller bubbles, which come up to the surface, you can torch them very slightly. So a heat gun is a really, really good tip to, to release any air bubbles. So let's get started. I have my uh, diamond glitter flakes. I mixed them up with some resin and I will just pour it around the edges. It's not opaque, it's really transparent. It's just a hint of glitter because I wanted to have my edges kind of shimmery, but not um, overloaded. I hope that makes sense. So it's just a little bit of um, glitter in my clear resin and I pour a small ring on the outside of my molds.
So I just give it a quick touch because I saw that a lot of kind of micro bubbles came up to the surface and I don't want to touch too much. So that's why I do it now. The bubbles are removed and we can start with the center. Um, as I mentioned, I mixed my glitter with some resin so it stays in place. It's from Let's Resin, the, the glitter and from Dippon, the rose gold foil flakes. And I just um, spread them around the center. As you can see, it stays in place. It's kind of heavy. It's kind of blobby. So I use a dotting tool, which is um, really, I, I love my dotting tool. If you use a toothpick, you can scratch your mold. So the dotting tool has a rounded, um, a rounded edge. So you can make flower designs with it. You can spread uh, the center. You can spread glitter, um, which is, I think it's really easy to use because it's safe. There you can see that I spread my, my glitter with my dotting tool. So it's not that blobby, it's not just in one place or, I don't know, overloaded in one place. So I just spread it around a little bit. And as you can see, I forgot my coaster mold. <laughs> so I will just scratch out my leftover resin in my little container and uh, try to do a center in my coaster mold. So now we can start with our palettes. I snip off the tip of my piping bag and um, it's, well, as you can see, it's not, well, it's, it's a kind of a bigger hole because if you make your hole too small, um, the mold is really big. So you need an amount of resin which can move. You want the, the petals to bloom. So if it's too thin, um, there is not, a, not enough resin to move, so your petals, they will not close. I hope it makes sense. I, know, I hope you, you know what I mean. <laughs> so it's kind of a big stream of resin. And I just start with my white resin. I make the first petals and then I will go over with my like a pink one and then the white one again. I don't use the gold at this point because I don't, I'm always a little bit afraid of gold because gold is a heavy pigment and it sinks really easily. And I don't want to overload my, my flower with, with gold. Um, so I just do my petals with white and pink and at the end I'm going in with my gold. So now I'm making like inner petals with the pink Right now it looks really like organized and symmetrical and 
well, kind of nice. And after my second layer, I will start up messing around with my colors um, just to get a not, a, not a symmetrical flower design. I just want to have like random petals kind of everywhere, bigger ones, smaller ones, white ones, pink ones. So I just go around like crazy. Okay, we are almost done. I randomly put my petals in the mold. And um, now you can see in the middle where the resin where I went down and then up. You have this kind of blob. So I just go in with my dotting tool. And at those places where I think the resin might sink to the bottom, I just draw like, like a line in it to make it like smoother. I hope it makes sense. And then I will just do a little swirl in the middle so I don't get too many kind of blobs sinking through my glitter. I hope, yeah, I hope you know what I mean. I do it in every, in every mold. Every time I see kind of, yeah, like these resin streams, thicker ones, they, they really will sink. So I just swirl it around and make like a design. And um, yeah, at this point, I, um, by the way, I forgot the gold. So um, I, will, I will realize that in a minute and then I will go in with my gold.
So now I'm I'm drawing kind of petals in my gold. I, as I said, I, I really forgot the gold. Um, I do have negative space in my petals. So I go in with my gold at those points. I don't overlap it over the white and over the pink. I just go in with my clear spaces and draw a few golden petals. Um, I don't want to I don't want to have too much gold in it. It's just it's just kind of point of interest in my flower design. So where I have a lot of negative space, I go in with my gold. I just draw some lines. And um, my, my goal is when it's cured and I flip it over, that the gold just shines through this negative space. At this point, my resin is also getting um, like thicker. So I know that it will not bloom like, like um, it normally does when I, when I start with my colors. So it's just like a hint of gold in between. And I also draw some lines on the edges, you will see in a minute. And um, yeah, hopefully it will not sink. Hopefully it will just give a, give a hint of shimmer and a hint of making it a little bit more interesting. So at this point, <laughs> um, I have to say thank you. If you are still watching my video and if you're still following what I'm doing here and if you are still listening to my, to my English, it's early in the morning. I really need one more coffee to get my, 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 brains, uh, my brain started. I'm really sorry. It's much easier for me if I'm in the flow of talking and doing like German and English. I can switch between those languages. Doing a voiceover, um, not knowing what I'm talking about in the original video because it's muted, um, <laughs> it's kind of hard. So I'm really, really sorry for this, for all those ums and uhs and uh, I hope you know what I mean. Uh, it's kind of hard doing this voiceover. So I'm really sorry for that. Uh, the next video I will do it in English and German at the same time and it's much easier for me. So if you're still with me, thank you so much for watching and um, please do subscribe. Please give me a thumbs up. Uh, I promise my videos will get better but I, I'm German. I'm native speaking German so my English is not always like perfectly. So thank you so much for watching.
Okay, almost done. Just I could just give it a quick torch to remove any bubbles to warm up my resin on the surface so my petals can bloom. And then, uh, well, it's like cross fingers that the colors will not sink and it will not get extra blobby because it's 700 grams of resin. <laughs> so, well, I just go in and do some... Yeah, I just swirl my gold a little bit and go around the middle. I'm kind of... Uh, sometimes I'm I'm doing things or I try to do things too perfect because resin has its own mind and resin has its own magic and you cannot control resin at any time but sometimes I try to do it, it doesn't make sense anyway but um, well that's me here you can see a close-up with my gold the petals are starting to bloom which is kind of great and uh, yeah see you for the final result Here you can see my messy table and um, I wanted to do an unloading video but I don't know why I didn't push the record button. So you see the final cake stand. I painted my edges in gold and what I will do um, is a top coat to give it an extra shine. But to finish this video I just um, show you the result as it is right now. Just imagine it's extra shiny and way nicer than it is right now you can see the glitter in the middle it's i i, I really love this cake stand and um, i hope you do too i hope you subscribe i hope to see you in the next video and um, yeah bye bye and thanks for watching